Overall, UCA has more than 1,500 members, and as a group, they have come together nicely to develop, to share ideas, to share opportunities. This year's award winners include Harvey Parker for the overall UCA um, Lifetime Achievement Award. He's well recognized in the industry, very deserving of the award. The award I received was the uh, UCA Lifetime Achievement Award. I believe that it means that I have served my industry well. Okay, I started in, as a geotechnical engineer in 1961. I got into the tunneling industry through my academic career. I went to Auburn, Alabama Polytechnic Institute in 1957. I went, was in the Navy for a little while, then came out, went to work for Dames and Moore in, in San Francisco. And at that time, the Bay Area Rapid Transit System, just beginning, now call it BART, I worked for a geotechnical company and actually drilled the very first boring on that particular project. I then went to Harvard and got my master's degree. And while I was there, I recognized that I needed more geology to complement my civil engineering degree. And I went to the University of Illinois. And ultimately, I was working on a research project on innovations in tunnel linings. And through that, I became very interested and have continued my entire career in the underground industry. I've been very fortunate to work with the very best of people and to have attracted and hired, developed joint ventures with the very best of engineers in our, in our industry. We are doing very, very well. I'm most happy at what I did, would not change it. Priscilla Nelson is receiving the UCA Educator Award. She's been around the civil community and around the tunneling community for a long, long time. Right now she's the chair at the Colorado School of Mines. Uh, she does a great job there and uh, she's, uh, again, a very worthy. I think the UCA Award is e extremely important to me. A lot of uh, my favorite educators receive this award and I'm very happy to receive it as well. My PhD work was working on tunnel boring machines back in the late 1970s and 1980s. I think that what I miss in many areas is the way we need to anticipate the extreme events of geologic conditions. The engineers don't know enough geology and the geologists don't know enough engineering. So I'm a person with both of those backgrounds that brings that crossover knowledge between geology and engineering to a problem. Well, I've been in uh, academics more or less for 35 years, taught a lot of students. There's a lot of my students are here and it's great to see them again. Um, and I'm still teaching at Colorado School of Mines, so a lot of the new students are here. And they tell me that the courses that I taught were ones that were very important for them in their careers. So for me, that's just a validation that I keep trying, I keep changing, and it, it makes sense. Students like it, we're producing good students, and they will lead the future, which is what education is all about. Our individual award winner of the year is David Klug. David Klug has done a lot for the organization and he has really helped promote tunneling and promote the organization and certainly he's a, a worthy recipient. It's an industry award. It's an honor that the industry recognized me for my involvement. I have a saying, we all have to give back. I've been heavily involved in the UCA as uh, past chairman, uh, we still do a lot of things I'm with the Fox Conference, Tunnel Demand Forecast. My son is involved in the business with me. Well, I've been in the business over 40 years, so I've seen the transition starting with NATM. New Austrian Tunneling started in the early 80s, which has been a major transformation into the industry, and then also through the transformation from, we'll call it hard rock or ribbon board, to precast segments. and. That's occurred because of the technology in the precast segments and also in the technology that's developed within the tunnel boring machines. I represent companies that are involved in the international tunnel industry. This is an international business because the technology that occurs throughout the world is brought here. The tunnel industry will continue. It's demanded because of society. Uh, I have a saying is they don't build tunnels under cornfields in Iowa. 
It's going to be in the major urban areas. There will be and has been a continuing interest in tunnels and that's not going to wane. We just wrote a book, it's called The History of Tunneling, one of four editors. And the reason for that was to detail the societal benefits for the industry. And uh, that is going to continue. It goes back turn of the century when they started building tunnels in New York for bringing water in. Well, we're still doing things to benefit society and the tunnels are a very important part of that. Improving the quality of life in major urban areas. And then finally we have the UCA Project of the Year and Northern Boulevard Crossing is receiving that award. So uh, we're pleased to recognize that uh, very good project.